once you visualize um, what I'm trying to write down here, uh, then you'll be able, it'll be a little easier. Like, so I'll visualize it here with me, uh, and then I will, uh, when I'm in the fight, you'll, you'll, you'll notice it more. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. So, uh, anyway, anyway, um, okay. So what's going to happen a lot of times, uh, if you're in a fight, um, the fight will look something like this, right? So here's the enemy arrow, right? There, there's the enemy arrow with its engine in the back. <laughs> And it's little cockpit there there's the arrow <laughs> um and what ends up happening is you kind of you know you, you you come into a pattern where you kind of flow in like this right and he's flowing in like like this right and then you guys start to circle each other 66 sextillion 666 quintillion 666 qu okay enough of that anyway um so what ends up happening is, uh, you guys like you go into a, a like a circle pattern like this, right? Where each party is shooting at each other, uh, and you're kind of just continuously orbiting each other, right? But what ends up happening is, in a perfect world where your speeds are relative, you know, if you're you're sitting around, I don't know, two three hundred meters per second, you have enough acceleration to make those circles. But let's say you're fighting at like six seven hundred, which is a lot of times what happens, right? The fights look a lot more like this, right? Where um, you kind of do a circle on each other and then the fight kind of extends, right? So, uh, what ends up happening is like, uh, this guy will, will move in and, uh, he'll basically follow in here and he'll take a circle with you, right? And then, you know, actually that was, so that circle would look more like, like, Sorry, it look more like this, where you're coming in like that, and he's circling with you, right? And then continuing out, right? So the fight, and then the fight circles circles again here, right? So you're you're back into another another circle fight here. So the overall momentum direction of the fight is pushing this way, right? I want you to visualize this, right? So the fight's pushing this direction, right? But you're kind of in these little micro circles as you get into a rate fight, but the fight's continuously moving. You're kind of circling each other as you as you kind of slide down the wherever direction the fight is pushing, right? So what you need to do is you need to understand that at the point of the fight where you're nose to nose like this, right? And he starts to slide away from you so the distance between you and him is starting to get increased because you're you're at the point of the oval right like the, the fights are kind of oval instead of like a circle okay they're more of a they're more of a, an elongated oval like this right so what ends up happening is the moment of the fight if you want to reduce distance right where the guy is approaching you right so let's say the fight turns and now he's he's actually closing distance on you right what ends up happening is if you keep forward, if you keep pushing your forward momentum, you're going to continue to kind of keep pushing the fight and you'll do this little circle, then you'll fade away, then circle again and fade away. So if you want to kind of force the fight to slow down and, and stay in a continuous circle, what ends up happening is when he pushes in on you like that during the apex of that turn, that's when you start to back up right and or or at least throttle down because you want to have a what's called negative delta, right? So you want to have less velocity and momentum on the on the edge of that turn right so if you have if you were to imagine if you were to imagine an oval right so let's take uh, let's take this if you were to imagine uh, you know a, a total circle would look like this right where um, both parties are in a circle fight like this right both parties are orbiting each other um, He's going this way, you're going this way, and you guys are exchanging fire in between. And then that's when you know the wave pattern starts coming in, or that kind of stuff to to kind of fly to kind of you know the, if you were to, if you were to look at the flight pattern of both ships, you know it would look like a wavy circle like this, right? That's what it would kind of look like. But you know, for ease of understanding, you're in a circle fight, circular fight like this, right? But what ends up happening with our speeds right now is the fights don't look like that. The fights look more like this, where they have, where you have moments of the fight where this kind of stuff happens. 
Okay. Um, and what ends up happening is the fights start to elongate, for lack of a better word, right? Because the speeds are so high, what ends up happening is you have moments in the fight where this, this starts to happen. Right? And this is confusing to some people because you might be under full forward forward momentum, right? Where you might be under like you, you got pedal to the metal, you know, you're like you're going forward. You're like, I got to get closer. I got to get closer. But then when it ends up happening is when you get closer to him and he gets closer to you, this point right here in the fight, okay, that is the merge, right? Where both people have kind of like because it, it's not a perfect circle right it's like kind of that over right so what ends up happening is if you want to continue this elongated fight just keep your foot on the pedal and accelerate through like crazy right but instead what i'm saying is what you should do when to use the backstrafe to kind of close these circles out is if if he's gonna try to come after you and, and and get the fight to be more of a circle what ends up happening is instead of keeping your, your your forward momentum and cutting through you're going to keep that circle and then you're actually going to slow down and you're going to cut the circle you'll hear me say this right i'll say okay i'm cutting the circle and some people are like what do you mean by cutting the circle right if you were to imagine the flight path all right in your head you're cutting the circle slower which means you're reducing throttle so what ends up happening is it goes from this sorry the fights go from the fights go from this to this, to this, okay? But that requires that somebody is forcing the fight slower, right? To get into more of a circle fight, okay? Now, if you want to continue with this kind of ovalistic pattern, right? You can keep the, you can keep your throttle like crazy down, right? Or you can force the fight into what's called the cone, right? And this is what I keep talking to people about a lot of times too, right? where if you were to imagine a circle like this, right? And instead of fighting inside this like weird, um, you know, uh, fighting in the ovals, what ends up happening is instead of fighting in like an oval like this, where you're here, he's, he's here, and you guys are just kind of, you know, continuously passing each other like this, like this, because both parties are on the throttle like crazy, you're just kind of circling, he's going this way, you're going, you're going this way, and it's just you can never, you can never get close enough. You know what I mean? Uh, so a nice thing to do is instead of being heavy on the throttle, what you want to do is when you get to that point, when you get to that point where you're circling him and he's circling you, right? And you can cut the corner here, and then when he comes towards you again, because he's gonna be, he's gonna want to keep the circle big, right? He's gonna want to keep the uh, keep the acceleration on. He's gonna want to keep orbiting in that really long pattern that's when you push a little bit back, right? Because what ends up happening is that closes the circle, right? And so if you have a ship that has a higher rate than, the, than somebody else, you can slowly get closer until you're so close that you're under their rate and then you can really start to play with them, right? So he's slowing down here. I'm gonna have a lot of energy in this turn and I might be able to do some damage. Okay, so now he's coming towards me, right? He's at the end of the circle, right? So I'm gonna keep rotating here now is when I can push a little bit back in my backwards throttle, right? Because now my circle right now is nice and tight. Now I'm on him. Right? You, okay, now I backstrafe because now he's coming towards me. Do you understand what I'm saying? That right there is exactly what I was trying to explain, right? Like there's moments where the fight ovals out, right? And then he starts to aggress onto you, right? And that's when you want to kind of back up a little bit and, and force the circle a little slower or a little smaller, right? And that's when you slowly creep towards your enemy. Hey, everybody. I hope this was hopefully enlightening about when I talk about the ovals or when the circles are, you know, when I'm cutting a circle or I'm closing a circle, uh, what times are good to use backstrafe and what times you want to close the circle or cut the circle, right? It's a bit of an abstract concept and for some people it might take a few times watching this video, but I'll try to make a few more on this topic specifically because it could be a little bit of a brain tease. And although, um, the graphics help a little bit. <laughs> uh, the best thing to do when it comes to understanding things like this is just get out there and start flying, 
right? That's the best thing you can do is just get out there, start flying, and these things will start to visualize in your head. I hope this was entertaining, guys, and I hope this was um, educational um, for you, for those of you guys out there that are looking to improve their piloting skills. This was probably a pretty dry video, but it's important because these concepts are very, very integral to the state of the game and just the overall flight mechanics in general. As things change, we're always going to update our videos and make sure that you always have the latest uh, techniques and abilities to understand how to give yourself that competitive edge. All right, guys. Take a look at Predator Mounts, and I hope to see all you folks up for stream and for the next YouTube video. I was Avenger 1, and I'll see you next time.